Welcome to the Group Chat Chronicles. I'm your host, Dev. With me in this episode, I have Leek. What's up, Leek? Yo, what's up, good people? And on this episode, we have two guests entering the chat. We have Mary Johnny and Los. What's up, y'all? Hello. What's up? What's up? Yeah, they tried to take my co-host, and now, now we on the same podcast together. What's up? All right. <laughs> and on this podcast, we always give our own takes on a lot of topics, and I always want to thank the listeners and the watchers for supporting. And before we start the show, we always go over what we have been tuned into. So, Leek, what have you been tuned into? I ain't gonna lie, a whole bunch of nothing. I've been just creating <laughs> lately. That's like a month and a half, a whole bunch of nothing. Yeah, bro. It's just been creating. A whole right. lot of creating on my side lately. So, right. yeah, I ain't. I ain't on nothing. <laughs> oh, well, um, let's see. <laughs> it's like, I, when it's the panel draw that it comes to me, it's like, all right. Um, yo, have y'all ever seen that show? Uh, and I'm late to it, that Too Hot to Handle. I heard it's on, it's on heard Netflix, it. whatever. I feel like me and my girl be watching that sometimes. Well, you know, I you know, I tell y'all on the podcast, I got a thing for these dating reality shows. You know what I mean? It's like my guilty pleasure. But I end up watching it, whatever. Um it doesn't really I can't relate to it though. It's like for a younger demographic and they just they all of them are just horny. Like they just horny as hell. Bro. You know what really I mean? And, yeah, yeah, like and, and like cuz they they supposed to be on this island whatever and they're supposed That's to make sure. real connections and uh, they're not allowed to have sex whatever. But like when they when they find that out, they're just like, "Oh my god," whatever. And anytime like people kiss or whatever, they lose money, whatever, from the pot. Oh, and like, I did, and yeah. then they be like, they be like really fucking it up for everybody. For like little kisses, it'd be like six thousand dollars or three thousand wow. dollars. And oh, it's uh, never the same amount. No, yeah, because nah, like the late yeah. the lady, it, it's like a voice on this like digital like yeah, cone uh, or whatever. Yeah, you've and lost I, yeah, Lana or whatever. Dollars. Yeah, so she doubles <laughs> the fines if if people are wilding. So like that's something that I've been watching. But other than that. You know what I mean? Just tune in to y'all guys and, uh, you know, my you. podcast. Uh, tune in to Johnny's stuff. Yeah, I mean, you know, she got, a, she got that uh, <laughs> YouTube channel out now. So, but, yeah, that's it. Um, I haven't been tuned into anything for real. You know, I was getting ready for the fashion show, Ace of Style. She had her first fashion show yesterday. And yeah. it was popping. It was a good turnout. Good. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, me, this is an album still. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, that's my shit. I ain't going to hold you. Uh, BMF <laughs> came back. Favorite, what's your favorite track on that? Oh, uh, Gone Girl. Gone Girl. 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 Okay. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> nah, so. Um, Yo, that's, uh, what that else? shit. That's um, all I'm gonna yeah. say. BMF came back. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was cool. I did watch oh, the first I gotta renew my stars. Yeah, the first episode. Oh. <laughs> you know it come out episode by episode. Yeah, yeah. I know yeah. I'm big, so I ain't. Uh, <laughs> I'll be yeah. late to shit. Like. Um, and I've been on like a weekend binge for some reason. I don't know why. The singer. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. 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 I was like, yeah. that singer. What? Yeah. yeah. But other than that, that's about it. So, <clears throat> first topic. Uh, this topic is brought to you by Leek. <laughs> so, um, he posed the question: Should people have kids? Like, so why do you feel that way? Man, I just feel like at least everybody should have at least like one kid. You know what I mean? Like, well, we're here to. All right, go ahead, this yeah. is what we're kind of like here for. <laughs> you, you, yeah. know, you know what I mean? So, like, don't get me wrong. Like, it's, of course, situations where some people just can't or whatever the case may be. Everybody got their thing. But I just feel like at least to try. At one point in time, to at least try. Oh, okay. To have a child out of, let's say, a person lives, what, 80 to 100 years, mm-hmm. figuratively? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't try at least well thirty years of your life for, for no, you know? no, that's no. crazy to me. No, well, well no. you know, I don't think everybody should have. Like, are you saying everybody should try to have kids or everybody should have a kid? He's saying everybody should have. Should a kid. Have nah, a kid. nah, there's yeah. a lot yeah. of yeah. people yeah. out here that yeah. don't need to have kids, yeah. bro. Like, oh, you know, know what I mean? these like, are not experiments. You know what I mean? Think about, you know what I mean, like some of these people that got, you know, serial killers, all that. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Right. Imagine if they had offspring, you know what I mean? Like, you just, you know. I don't know. They might turn out to be a normal genius. Okay. Or, or, or part two. They're going to have some problems. Or, I'm in part two, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I definitely feel like, though. I feel like. It's like, I don't know. I just feel like, I don't know, maybe because I'm a new parent. So okay. it's just like, yeah, I, I think it's like everybody's just, it's like, you don't experience this in your lifetime? You're like, just yeah. spread the yeah. love. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's yeah. like, come on. And like, I mean, but hey, I feel like. Now, there's definitely something to, like, you know what I mean, uh, a legacy or your you know progeny, they call that, you know what I mean, where you, you know, you have kids and things like that and passing <laughs> yeah. on your name and all that. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's something to that, definitely, but um, 
Well, yeah, with Johnny was even loose too. Like, yeah, nah, everybody don't. Everybody don't need to have a kid. Yeah, because you got you got to think about how many kids is in the foster care system. So already, yeah, people is having right. kids. They giving them away. Well, I don't think they're giving them. They're getting it taken. But you know, what Krishan Rock say? She said she had three of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, the way she she might have said four. She might have said four. The way she said it though was like it was like yeah, yeah you know, I just had yeah. you know whatever. And I'm like yo, so you got that those situations yeah, too that where is people. True. Yeah. People terminate in Jones too. I mean, I'd respect yeah. that more than the baby getting here and having to spend life in foster care. Yeah. And in, in the shop, you got the white people coming in. No, he's too black. Yeah. No. Nope. The hair. <laughs> <Too> Can't <black>. do it. <laughs> Can't do it. Like, a, like an auction. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. God, oh, yeah. You remember yeah. off of um, Like Mike? When, when he came. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's how I picture it. Yeah. That's how I picture it. Yeah. <laughs> we want the gifted one. <laughs> could, y'all, could y'all see yourselves adopting kids? I'll, I'll adopt a black kid. Like they gotta be black. like American black though. Yeah, I mean it don't matter. They gotta be black. They gotta be black. I mean, I gotta be specific. Yeah, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Like no disrespect. I, they, they just gotta be. I okay, can see like, it. Yeah. I want to be a foster mom, like sometime. I don't think I could do it. I don't know well, if I could do it. Yeah, it's only because like especially with like older kid. I mean, they got certain traumas and stuff like that that they deal with. Like I, I, I watch This Is Us. You ever watch This Is Us? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like, yeah, just kind of the situations that, not granted, they kind of worked itself out. Oh, whatever. like the kids that were already like, yeah, they, yeah, and then they, they already have, have they yeah. already have all these experiences and they have this like cold trauma maybe like, you know what I mean, that they're dealing with. Mm-hmm. And I just, I don't know if I could, I could do that though. But it's, I, I commend people that do it though, so. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm kind of with Lowe's for real, for real. Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm just addicted to know. fixing I mean, people. Uh, I don't know if I can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. And like, Better I'm, a child than my relationship, so, you know. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> They're not experiments, uh, no. Mary Johnny, you know what I'm saying? Well, they already got They're the bad end. They the wow. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, they just got to be like a kid, like a little kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah like a baby like type. High school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No disrespect again, know, but no. Nah. So, yeah, so, yeah, no, and back, back to the topic. No, yeah, my bad. everybody shouldn't be having kids. No. <laughs> <laughs> like, nah, I don't like. I don't care about. He legacy. was just so full of love. Like, I, I feel like, yeah, he thought of that when his his son. You have a son, right? Or a daughter? A daughter. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, you yeah. got a daughter. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, pass? daughter must get. Yeah, dude, the pass. Daughter must get. Daughter's in the Look, it's all love. <laughs> it's all everything I've done has all been with love. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, next topic. Uh, is brought to you by a tweet from the Shea Marie. She, she said, the white girlies be married by 24 with a big house. I love that for them. Meanwhile, my community likes to debate about 50-50. And if you've been on social media for the past, like, half a decade, damn near, yeah. you know that there's, like, every other week, there's, like, a debate about going 50-50 with your partner on dates, other relationship problems. So, right. How do y'all feel about black people making all of their problems public? That shit in a way. I love it cuz as, <laughs> as a hey, yo, as a black community we don't talk about we stuff. We sweep we things go. under the rug. So this is what we need. I like that. I mean every other week though. I mean, it's social Every media. Every hour. So. <laughs> See, but the thing is, though. White people probably do it, too. You yeah, just not. Exactly. They're not on your really timeline. They're spaces. Like, we yeah. really don't know. We don't like, pay attention our, to that. Our timelines look totally different than, yeah. you know what I mean, Sarah from, you know what I mean, Northeastern. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like, so they not. Like, we don't even know yeah. what they're what they dealing with. So They're probably talking about mistreatments of dogs. They, and yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. <laughs> weird <laughs> stuff. I, I think yeah, no, they're talking about some substantial stuff. They talk about dogs and all that. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I mean, like, I don't want to see that all the time, though. That's the thing. Like, well, I'm saying, all right. So we got we got podcasts, right? Yeah. You know what I mean, and, and people, that's there's don't a stigma it, against us. You know what I mean? We're like, oh, that's all y'all talk about, y'all podcast niggas. Y'all think y'all, y'all know everything or whatever. Mm-hmm. But it's like, if we not having these conversations, like, what are we? You know what I mean? We just kind of repeat in certain cycles. You yeah. know what I mean? At least it's like, I'm not saying that we trying to teach people, but at the same time, it's like, why not have these conversations? You know what I mean? Because it's other people that might be going through the same thing that just, you know, mm-hmm. they want to hear something. They want to hear, like, yo, I'm, I'm normal. You know what I mean? What yeah, I'm going through yeah. is is, is mm-hmm. kind of the same as somebody else. I don't know. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's I mean, it's content for us, but at the same time, like, <laughs> <Right>. damn, <laughs> like, all the time, like, I, just, yeah. I don't know. Like, just give it a Every break. Every day. Yeah. I don't know. Every day. Like, like literally every day. Every day. <laughs> I, I just other things to talk about. Like, why zone in on that? I don't know. 
Shit just weird to me. And then again, it's like, I feel like for one person to even like judge another is like kind of like, wow. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like we all I'm, judge people. We, we do. Yeah, we do talk. We talk. But like yeah. at the same time, like it's judgment is an opinion. So you don't have an opinion. What's in your head? <laughs> right. You just. <laughs> but see, it's one thing to have an opinion and more or less like judge. No. Yeah. No. Think, there's I, one thing yeah. to be more vocal about it, and there's one thing to be less vocal. More People quiet. need to be less vocal in your term of, of words. Then that, that's basically what I'll get. Then why are we on social media? Right. That's yeah, a problem yeah, to yeah. begin with, to be real. <laughs> and you still have yours. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm a part of the problem. Zoom in. Okay. Okay. Zoom, in. Zoom, in. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I'm a part of the problem. Like, but to still, like, it's, just, it's, it's crazy to me. Like, nah, so why do we do that? So what, what is our... I mean, I, I mean, I can say, basically, you can say whatever you want on social media. It's just, I choose not to see it, so I can just... So past or block or mute. So it's like, I don't think it's a problem necessarily. I don't get mad at people's opinions. I get mad at people that go out of their way to be offended because I okay. feel like <laughs> if there's something I don't agree with, okay, you sound right. dumb. I'm going to scroll past it. I might send it to my friend. She sounds the fuck dumb. And then, you know, <laughs> but I the fact that people like, because the, what's the girl's name that raps? Um, Anna? Anna? I don't know her um, rap name. Uh, oh, the barber. Talking... Oh, no. oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're talking about. She had, oh, she had a post, and she was like, she doesn't have any kids. She's single. She said, I don't want to date a man with kids. And I'm like, oh, and people yeah. were really offended by that. And me, <laughs> as someone with kids, I was like, well, why the fuck yeah. are y'all offended? Don't date yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> honestly, honestly, I think people get offended because one, they, nine times out of ten, they sound condescending. Like, yeah. And, yeah. Then, and, then, and then on top of that, you're basically, well, in terms of like dating and whatnot, you're basically saying because of that reason you're not going to date me like I could be the, per- the perfect person but because no, I No, she had she had reasons behind yeah, it yeah, like yeah, I saw, oh I saw that. yeah like and they were good reasons rather than you getting in someone's life and dealing and figuring out after you already met someone's kids and you have been already been with them like I don't like not being a priority. I don't like not picking up and going to fucking Texas cuz I want to take yeah, a trip. Yeah. So I'd rather you figure it out before but my question to you is what makes it condescending? Cuz I feel like that's personal insecurities. I mean I mean like she, the post was <laughs> what was like if you have kids you're low vibrational and all oh that. okay yeah, yeah. and stuff like yeah, that like they wild. sound condescending I mean if, if she just I said don't I don't I don't want <laughs> <laughs> like if she just said I don't want to date somebody with kids I cool okay yeah, I got yeah, that yeah. Where, I, I get if people get offended but like she, she called them low vibrational or whatnot so they was like, gonna get offended either way though, yeah they were but, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I see it's, it's one thing if like we using social media to react to other people making content about this type of stuff. Um, it's, I think just with social media, sometimes um, people want to have these fruitful conversations, but then they end up just going nowhere. So yeah. I mean, so that's mm-hmm. why it feels like it's like, oh my god, why are we talking about this? Why are we talking about this? Right. And you know, Twitter is guilty of like, you'll see something. You, I might have seen something like a year and a half ago, and then it'll resurface, whatever. And then you're like, damn, what the fuck? Like, I didn't see that. <laughs> yeah. Like, whatever. And like, I think that's a, that's probably the annoying part too. Yeah. Like, people are just kind of regurgitating and repeating. Yeah certain conversations but like i think there's a lot of like platforms that do a good job of like having panels and like people really having conversations about this stuff but you know that you can't really i don't even really engage too much with people on twitter like that because it, it goes nowhere you know what yeah. i mean people mm-hmm. it's a lot of stuff missed in translation mm-hmm. and it's like you arguing with people that don't know you whatever um like and like, people only understand on their level of perception so yeah, yeah. So, so it's just like so, but, yeah. yeah, but I think I think yeah, the white people probably. Did, I, I don't know about Spanish people, but definitely <laughs> white people probably sharing their problems though. Like, mm-hmm. on, you know what I mean, online, it's just we not we're not on white Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I, mean, yeah, I don't know. For real, like, for real. I, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's like of course everybody share their problems, but y'all don't think maybe a little too much. Like certain shit just need to be in house. Well, what like what? Like, like what? Yeah, yeah. Because we're talking yeah, about general be, subjects. So you talking yeah. about you talking about Keisha that be talking about her baby daddy. That's daddy. now that's, that's messy. That's we don't need that. Shit. Yeah. We don't <laughs> need that. We don't need that. Yeah, no. Nah, like it's, that's it's over shit that just need to be off I'm of social a, media. I'm gonna still read it though. Yeah, it's definitely. And I'm judging. And I'm yeah, judging. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm judging. Yeah, I mean, like off of what you said. Yeah, I mean, so um, now you're right. Yeah, that messy stuff probably. But the general I mean, conversations is cool. Even the 50-50 to kind of like on the specific. <laughs> I mean, like, I, like I would. For me, that's like even included. It's like at this point, everybody already said your piece. All right, cool. But like, however you handle it, 
handle it with your partner, however y'all decide yeah. to handle it. You don't have to it's, oh, blurt it's, it out exactly. like that every day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. So next topic. So um, do you guys think there's a such thing as an oversaturated market when it comes to entertainment or trade skills and side jobs? Mm. That's a good one. I'm going to leave that one open. No. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't. I, I mean, I wouldn't. Like, when it comes to entertainment, I wouldn't say it's oversaturated. I just think it's just the ease of access. Like, okay. like okay. yeah, those people over there have a podcast, but they're not really popping. So it's like, I'm not saying they're irrelevant, but I'm just like. <laughs> Right. I mean, right. yeah, it's That's just like that. Like now, now it'd be different. Like if everybody was popping, then yeah, I could say it's oversaturated. But I just think it's just the ease of access, honestly. Okay. okay. So you don't see somebody come out with like, um, like a rapper come out or like um, a lash tech come out or something like that, and be like, everybody's already doing that. No. No. Okay. You want to see what they do with it? Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Bye. You ain't got nothing to say. Oh, I, was, I, was, I, was, I thought we was going down the line. I was okay. like, you, yeah, yeah, this was your topic, wasn't it? Like, <laughs> I don't got nothing to say. You don't have nothing to say? <laughs> no. <laughs> you I, don't, topic, like, you I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. That's why, that's why I went to oh, topic. That's why you brought, oh, well, okay. I think it, yeah, I think it depends. Um, when you're talking about entertainment, um, I mean, I guess in some ways it could be, but like Dev said, like it, it, it all depends on what you kind of do with it. Um, one thing that people just learning – learning about making content is that people are even afraid to just even share what they have like like over yeah you know i mean like they're afraid yeah. to promote themselves and things like that mm-hmm. and um you know like for example you might post something on instagram like a clip whatever and then you're like ah oh, yeah i mean well, i don't want to post the same clip on youtube or i don't want to post the same clip on facebook yeah. whatever but when you look at your views if you even if you got a thousand views Every and you think like ah oh, everybody already seen it yeah. they didn't you know what I mean because a thousand ain't shit for real for real you know what I mean so yeah. it's like like I don't think there is a like when it comes to entertainment um, I think there is a space for everybody it can feel it can feel a little saturated when you got a lot of people that start stuff and stop. You know yeah. I mean, that's when it feels like, oh, damn. Like, you know I mean, but if everybody yeah. is consistent with it, I don't think we would have that those kind of negative connotations. We would just be like, we would support them. We'd be like, oh, shit, yo, this this podcast, you got this podcast, oh, you got this rapper, you got this rapper. Mm-hmm. But how many rappers locally put out music and then just kind of stop or they stop mm-hmm. promoting themselves or they stop posting or they stop making. You it's know what easy I mean? to so, get discouraged. Yeah, it's easy yeah. to get discouraged. So it's like. I think the problem is that people start stuff and then they stop and then you just got a bunch of like <laughs> like dead creators like you know what I mean like just dead creations like out there like yeah. that ain't going nowhere mm-hmm. so yeah there is probably a saturation of that but like in terms of people popping no we all could yeah. we all could use some more views you know what I'm saying <laughs> like you know what I, mean? I want more views you know what I mean yeah. like I ain't got enough you know what I mean so I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep hitting y'all with this shit you know what I'm saying but yeah. hey we. <laughs> I think I would just leave it there, yeah. You don't want to say either? Like, I really don't, because it, it's like 50 50. Like, a part of me yeah. is like, like yeah, it maybe it's just a little bit too many rappers. <laughs> you know what I mean? But then it's like, it's kind of like you said, at the same time, but are these rappers even popular? Yeah. Who's heard of them other than pretty much me? Your friends, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's like. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, when it comes to services, like now, I I wonder as a consumer, like all right, we got a lot of barbers, you know what I mean? And just think about where we live, it's only how many people, you know what I mean? I always, right. I always, I always just wonder about for those people that are in that industry, like damn, like mm. are you gonna? You know what I mean, ho- hopefully you make it, you know what I mean? Because yeah. I feel like there ain't a big enough market. Like there's only so many heads you can cut, and everybody ain't getting haircuts. You know what I mean? There's yeah. a lot of people yeah. with dreads yeah. and yeah, braids, and, you yeah. know what I mean? Different so things, yeah. so it's. There might be a saturation in that, but like, like you said, like the cream gonna rise to the top. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The the so. Well, entertainment, everybody likes entertainment. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. Okay. And also, I feel like entertainment too is a form of art. Even mm-hmm. like with podcasts and like even the things you say, how you say, it, everybody is different. And that's a form look different. Yeah. So like, I look I look at it as like also a form of art. So it's like it's kind of like saying, is it too much art? Yeah. That is true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is yeah. like it's not really it's never too much art. Yeah. yeah, that makes yeah. sense. <laughs> All right, so moving on. So <clears throat> there is a tweet that said, being an adult is weird when it comes to relationships when you never experienced your first love as a teen. So that tweet was quoted, 
This is this what I think when, of when I see adults say they never been in love before. You will live in hell. That was in all caps after your first heartbreak. So, <laughs> my question is, how impactful is it of to your love life if you didn't experience love as a teenager? Go ahead, Lose. This was your time. Yeah, I know, right? Um, <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I, I think. Yeah, I think you need to have like. It's funny because all right now as a parent, um, now I have a I have a young son. You know what I mean, so he ain't, he ain't dating or nothing like that yet. Um, but I think parents, you know, we want to deter our kids from certain type of relationships and things like that because we know um, as teenagers, sometimes our kids, we, you know, they get too wrapped up into their relationships. Sometimes mm-hmm. their relationships kind of dictate the personality that, that they're going to end up having and things like that. So so from our experience or even our parents' experience, we'd be like, oh, nah, leave them boys alone or, or this and that because – and also, too, in the black community, you know, teen pregnancy is a thing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, sexually transmitted diseases, just in, in general, that's a thing. So we want to we wanna deter our kids from that. But, like, at the same time, there can be some good from that because when you, you know, you, you need to know what it's like what it's like to care about somebody. You need to know what it's like to go on a date, <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? And, and you don't want to wait till adulthood because then – you have like a little bit of a warped perception of, of what, what things Definitely. are. So so like yeah. a little bit of puppy love, ain't nothing wrong with a little bit of puppy love. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. But I think that's what, that might be why, you know, we have all these dynamics of people like with the relationships airing out their problems. Mm-hmm. Maybe maybe some of these people didn't experience like teenage relationships and breakups mm. and things like that because then they don't know how to deal with it. And now they just they putting it all media. out. Yeah, they use social media to vent. Instead sense. of talking to their friends, they clo- you know loved ones, people that they trust, they just putting it out there. And then we're like, yeah, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you expect? You know what I mean? Like, right. you know, so, but I don't know. What y'all think? Um, <clears throat> I feel like it definitely like will help on the emotional side because love is a very strong emotion. Mm-hmm. So like that puppy love kind of like, you know, dealing with that heartbreak or that, you know, being super factuated with a person or whatever mm-hmm. the thing might be, you kind of is more uh, have more experience <laughs> yeah. in how to navigate through your emotions and how what you have to do in whatever situation you might be in and so forth. When you deal with it as an adult and it hits you for the first time, <laughs> yeah. that's why you probably fought wrong serial killers and shit. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Or like, go snap, crazy. Right? Go like snap. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So... I definitely could agree with that. Um, that puppy love will help. For like that, you know, kind of played that was advocate to that. I have a daughter. Yeah, daughter. exactly, exactly. Man, she ain't dating since she's thirty. <laughs> 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 you feel what I'm saying? So like, I don't know. But at the end of the day, it is life. Kids gotta grow up. So shit happens. I'll say, overall, I I I would want people just to go at their pace. There you go. You know what I mean? Don't try to like. If you ain't ready, like, let's just say, to have sex or whatever the case may be, if that partner is peer pressuring you and you ain't ready, yo, that might not be the partner for you at the moment. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or whatever the situation might be. It could be anything, but that's Bro- just how. Brother I mean. Leek is preaching to the young <laughs> <laughs> Say it again. Say it again, brother. <laughs> um, I don't know, because I feel like if you didn't have a heartbreak Till your like adulthood, I would be interested to know how many like how how much you're lacking in emotional intelligence and things like that. And I feel right. like you might even have narcissistic tendencies. Not to say you're mm. a narcissist, but you would have some of those tendencies because how did you not fall in love until adulthood or have your first heartbreak until adulthood? You know what I mean? Unless you were like in a cult or something. Oh, <laughs> damn. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Wow. Always there. <laughs> she, always, she always peel that yeah, extra yeah, layer, yeah. right? Like, 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 yeah. I just try to be very inclusive. <laughs> there you go, there you go. I mean, I'm not going to say you need to have heartbreak as a teenager, because that, sound, that sounds kind of wild if you think about it. But like, I just feel like as an adult, because you got more responsibilities, mm-hmm. I think it's, it's going to hit you hard if you've never been, because you got to go to work, school, whatever, take yeah, care of the house, have a yeah. social life, all that, and it's like, when you're a teenager, all you gotta do is go to school. And, and to yeah, work. and that's also not to say that it's the same level of heartbreak because when yeah. you're a teenager, you're a little bit might be more dramatic yes. or you know what I mean. It yeah, might not even really be love. Uh-huh. So it's a little bit different, but you kind of you feel like you went through it before. Right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, you learn from failure. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So like heartbreak is is kind of a, an example of failure. You know what I mean? So like, yeah, I think 
like I said, I don't know what, exactly what lessons you learned from it, whatever, but like. You learned something. You learned something. <laughs> you learned something. Like, you learn, like, dang, you know, girls don't like it when you do this. Like, women don't like it when you do this. Or, right. you know what I mean? Maybe I do need to pay more attention to, you know what I mean? Because, like, if you're, especially if you're the fault of the breakup, you know what I mean? Like, right. yeah. then, then you can learn something like, damn, like, you know what I mean? Like, I wasn't, I wasn't shit, you know what I mean? But, like, some of these people, <laughs> no. you know what I mean? In adulthood, they, like I said, like, I don't know, man. You got, you got people that, like, don't experience failure even as a kid, and then when they do experience it as adulthood, they take it hard. They yeah. take it so hard, mm-hmm. and they don't know how to bounce back. I think it teaches you some resilience at the very yeah. least. You know what I mean, but that's me. Yeah. Yeah. So um, moving on. So uh, there was a exchange. Um, so like y'all know how like women like to call niggas sassy for everything. That is. Johnny. So <laughs> I don't call every nigga sassy. <laughs> so, that is your word. I yeah. think that was your twenty twenty two word. <laughs> So, um, basically, <laughs> no, I really don't call every nigga Yo. sassy except sassy niggas. Yo. <laughs> was, all right, was there some sassy niggas at the uh, fashion show Yo. last night? Yo, not that I seen. I don't know. Okay, I just wonder. I was in my zone. Oh, yeah, okay. All right. I just wondered. All right. So, this woman basically described why men block women. She said, you shot that eagle down. Men live off their ego. Beat a woman to humble him, and it'll hurt him. He will block you because he won't be able to accept you seeing move on in life because you actually left him. And he probably thought that was never going to happen. So. See, that's a nigga that didn't have a relationship when he was younger. You know what I mean? He had, he had, he had, <laughs> what happened? The, the dude that gets upset about getting blocked. You know what I mean? Like, he, he's no, no, a woman said that. Uh, but I'm saying, though, like, the way she's talking about uh, the man, like... that. She's that, saying the man blocks a woman. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But the man that blocks a woman is a guy that probably oh, didn't yeah. have heartbreak. Wait, <laughs> yeah, he, wait, he was like, wait, wait, so you, about, so you agree with it? So you agree with wait, it? Wait, talking he about... Well, to, wait, yo, nah, sorry, yo. Sorry, oh, hold on. Certain pieces. Certain hold pieces on. of it. So, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. so a nigga can't protect his piece? I, like, like, yo, like, I feel like y'all generalize these subjects too much when girls speak on it because y'all don't have that experience. So normally when we're talking about things like that, like, nigga, I ain't even texting you, calling you, liking that. And what did, what did you block? We're not even friends. What did you block yeah. me for? So in that yeah. instance, what did you block me for other than to not see me because it triggers emotions? I'm not texting. I'm not calling. I'm not messaging. I'm not liking your stuff. I'm not reaching out to your sister because fuck y'all. Damn. So, yeah, because, yeah, you like, don't have to block. You can just unfollow. Yeah, unfriend. You, you can just unfriend. Yeah, but me, there's me. really guys that will do that. Like, I've had a couple. So, I'm like, well, what you block me for? What, what um, 50 Cent say? He said, he said, fuck T.I., fuck, uh, fuck Nelly. I said, fuck, what you say fuck me for? <laughs> wow. Well, so, um. I gotta ask y'all. So, why do y'all think opposite genders think they know each other so well? Experience. Yeah, experience. Okay, <laughs> that was my that was my answer. Yeah, uh, yeah nah, I, I totally disagree. No man. Like how like how you how can a woman say what a man think or no? Nah, now they be wrong. They I ain't gonna say they they be wrong a lot. Real quick, but, that's the same thing. We, be wrong. Us, we though, be wrong like, a lot too. How the fuck can I say how a woman think on a specific situation? Like, you know what yeah. I mean? I'm going I'm to think how I think, not mm-hmm. how, uh, you know what I mean? Y'all. I don't think it depends on gender. I feel like it depends on the person's analytical ability. So mm. I analyze people. So <laughs> I can't <laughs> say that I would in like, most of the time when I'm right, I'm right. They be like, you assuming. <laughs> <laughs> but am I right? But am I right? You right, but you assuming. Okay, so it doesn't matter how I got to see. I got to see. And it was right. <laughs> so I don't know. I just feel like you can analyze certain things when you analyze people's behaviors or their um, tendencies and stuff. Because a lot of people do things in routines. A lot of people like, I break up with this bitch, I'm blocking her. I block every bitch I break up with. Like, it's easy to tell some certain things. Now, the ones that you can't tell are, the, you know, the sporadic ones. They're probably, you know, the serial killers. Maybe. Um, <laughs> so, like, you know, yeah. I mean, I think we know, I think we think we know, I mean, how each other reacts to things or whatever, because right. not only our own experience, but like, yeah, like how many women got guy friends or guy cousin, you know, mm-hmm. male cousins that they kind of, who who they're going to get an unfiltered truth from, you know what yeah. I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, so then they, so then they feel like, all right, I got a little bit of insight on men, whatever, or same thing with, with men and on women. Like you might have a female friend or, you know, maybe your mom go, went through some stuff, you know what I mean? So like, that's how you feel like. 
that's why we I think we feel like we know each other, you know what I mean, and how people are going to react. Like we know different situations cuz we've mm-hmm. seen it happen in the flesh, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So yeah. um, which I don't think it's a one size fits all, which nah, some people not. do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Base genders on one size fits all like I, like niggas that cheat a lot, they be like, "No, nah, that nigga's cheating," and like, not everybody's not shit like you. So yeah, I yeah. can, I can. Not right. a lot of females can differentiate that. I can differentiate that. Like, well, you're a dog ass nigga, so you, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, yes. Yeah, so, I mean, and pl- yeah, like, yeah. One size don't doesn't fit all. So yeah, basically everybody's different. So you can't really generalize anything. Right. Yeah. So um, <laughs> last topic. We're going to talk about separate honeymoons. <laughs> so um, it was a quote from a woman named Irene Br- O'Brien. She said, neither of us wanted to be where the other one was. We each came back to Dublin full of stories, buzzing over our trips, and truly delighted to see each other again to share the memories. It was a perfect and perfect honeymoon. So I'm guessing this is a thing now for newlyweds. Like one takes a trip to one place and the other takes a trip to another place. So, how do y'all feel about that? I'm trying to figure out why they got married. Yeah, what, and then is it called a honeymoon? Like, like you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. I, like, my question is, like, they were that adamant in going to these certain places that they couldn't come to a... Compromise? Yeah. yeah. Like, oh. Yeah, like, try to go to both of some shit. I yeah, mean, like, what? Like, uh, I mean, unless they got... Y'all got money. Money, yeah. Clearly yeah. yeah. they got oh, money. Oh, they done took two separate vacations at hey, the same point, time. Exactly. Like, they could have did it. That's, that can't be the topic of discussion here in this yeah. topic. Like, oh. Like, is it called a honeymoon? Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. No. Like, I just, I don't know. I just nah, think, that got me called some other shit. I don't know. I just, I just think it's one of those like, they, they just labeling something, or like, and it's not. Yeah, it, no. Like, and they that's was just the, getting some last minute strange. You yeah, know yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, yeah. In another yeah. country, some foreign strange. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Some, some untraceable. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, like, like <laughs> you know, like Real he ain't gonna know. She ain't gonna know. You know like, that's funny. I mean, but like, how do y'all feel about people nowadays, like finding the flaws in traditional, like the, the traditional like way it. of life? I mean, certain things there's flaws in, but not everything. Like, why can't we keep some things traditional? I mean, like, uh, oh, uh, everybody different. It's like live how you live, but yeah. the separate honeymoon thing, like the title of the honeymoon. It's not a honeymoon. It's, it's, not, it's, it's just a solo vacation. It's that some other shit, yeah. Like, like y'all just went on separate vacations at the same time. <laughs> Do y'all even love each other if y'all do that? Like, yeah, like yeah. y'all just got married and you were like, oh, I'll see you later. And like, like, what was the point of sharing it out? Like, yeah, I mean, do you want do you want other people to try it as well? Or you know, what I mean, I like, know, I don't, it's just I'm, it's just strange. Like, it's like I mean? that separate house thing. Or yeah, like, mm-hmm. yeah, that's. I mean, like, this this go to the other room. I guess like <laughs> I mean, you don't need a whole like you got like like you're paying for a whole other place just to be separate. And then on top yeah. of that, from that story, there was like linking like three to four times a week. So it's like. Y'all really, I don't know. Man. Don't waste the money, yeah. Yeah, like, I mean. But if you had it, shit. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah, do what's best I for guess. you and yours, but that shit. It's not know. best for me. Yeah. Yeah, that's a little different. <laughs> well, you, you was talking about, like, um, people kind of going away from traditions, whatever. And it made, it makes me think of, like, that, that clip that's out, that Love It Hip Hop clip with Fresher. Oh, and his uh, and his girl that she was like, oh yeah, with the two hundred fifty thousand dollar winning. But uh. well, the tradition though is that the the woman's dad is supposed to pay yeah. for the wedding. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. like, um, I don't I don't know. Like I feel like when it comes to traditions, like yeah, people just pick and choose. You yeah. know, what I'm saying what they want because she wants this big lavish wedding to be whatever. But all right, what well. Why are you asking your husband to put that building? Like, all right, where your pops at? And it probably, you know what I mean? Who knows? I don't know this woman, so I don't know her situation. Right. But, like, obviously her dad don't got it if she's <laughs> if she pressing her hus- her fiancé, you know what I mean, to give her this lavish wedding, whatever. But, like, it's just funny, like, with traditions, like, people really just... People pick and choose people shit. People really yeah. pick and mm-hmm. choose, you know what I mean? Based on their current little situation, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But... Two fifty for a wedding is fucking crazy. Though. And to call him broke though, to call him broke because yeah. he didn't want to do that is is wild. Too. And like, I mean, shit was and he said she hasn't worked in years. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's like, oh, you gonna find out what you gonna be if I leave? You know, basically what yeah. and he said. You know what I mean? I'm like, yo, that's. <laughs> How about this? Where your one twenty five at? Shit, fuck that. That's crazy. Oh, oh telling the woman to go 50 50 on the wedding? <laughs> Yo, come on, <laughs> what? Damn, this is starting to go. Oh, 50 50 weddings now? Oh, my two God. Two fit? You want a 250 wedding? Nah, yeah. yo, where that 125? <laughs> that's yeah, crazy. Oh, no. 
just to say I do. How much was her ring? You know what I'm saying? That's what I want. Nigga, you know, we ain't even talking about the ring. Exactly. We gonna, we gonna let the ring slide. Niggas be financing rings and shit, yeah. low key. Let's keep it a hundred. Yeah. True. To, to spend a quarter million on a wedding, I don't give a fuck who you are at the end of the day. Yeah. Quarter million on a wedding just to say I do. Who yeah. you trying to stun on? Yeah, yeah, you, you, yeah you're more worried <laughs> about you you're more worried on? about the the ceremony than the actual exactly. you know marriage. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, and then she was like, I ain't no courthouse bitch, or whatever. And yeah. I was like, man, why you why you dissing the that? women like, that go? Bro, why you dissing the people that go to the courthouse? Like, exactly. like what, what does that mean? <laughs> yeah, she probably. Cool with a separate honeymoon for real, for real. Yeah, she, 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 she sound like one of the, she sound like the one that she, she went. She went. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I do not know this woman. I'm just joking. <laughs> 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 Gotta throw disclaimers. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right so uh, this concludes uh, this week's episode. And as y'all know, we always give the world a final thought. So, Leek, what is your final thought? Man, just spread more love, not hate. Follow me on all socials. That is just Leek. Appreciate y'all, man. Glad we back. New year. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Everybody just stay safe out here. Stay yeah. out the bullshit. Yeah. Because it stinks out here, so. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, I mean, y'all can follow me um, at uh, 280 uh, plus, plus underscore pod. Um, follow my podcast. We out every Wednesday, Thursday-ish. I mean, it's been kind of it's been kind of wavering the last uh, couple weeks, whatever. But um, and then last thought though, go Packers. Uh, hopefully we make the playoffs. And uh, I'm, I'm telling, I want to play the Eagles first round. Like I, w- I would love to play the Eagles the first game that we play them, at, uh, first round of the playoffs, whatever. If that's what the scenario is, and then. Uh, I mean, that might be our destiny to go back to the Super Bowl. It's it's improbable. It's improbable. It's not likely, but I would love that. You know what I mean? So okay, go pack, okay. man. Fuck them bears. You know what I mean? Nah, I just play. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing with you, man. Go Ravens. <laughs> so, um, my last thought is I'm hungry. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, you can find me on Instagram at Johnny Sue. J O N N I T S U U U. And um, check out my YouTube channel. My link is in the bio. All right. <laughs> uh, my final thought is um, like I said in the last topic, we gotta stop giving these, giving shit unnecessary labels. Like this soft black man era shit. Mm. Like, don't get me wrong, Bro, I'm not mad at it. What is that? But nigga just gave. A, a phrase for relaxing. <laughs> That's all it is. It is, yeah. Like, like it's like instead of me saying, "Oh, after You're this, just in the house, yeah, like pouring chilling. coffee, yeah, yeah. Pouring yeah, coffee, snuggling up in the blanket, yeah, soft people. blackmail, yeah, I don't <laughs> like, he was yo, just regular just... shit, like, <laughs> exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. like, yeah, yeah, we gotta stop. I like that final thought. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. So, oh. Um, I would like to thank y'all for kicking it with us for however long we was here for. Uh, follow the socials, GCC717 on Twitter. The Group Chat Chronicles on Facebook. Group Chat Chronicles717 on TikTok and Instagram. Like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, shout out to Swanee Visuals on the camp. And we out. Peace. Peace.